on that. Oh, and keep an eye on the ashtrays, Annie. Some people still smoke between courses, but they don't like to be reminded of it. I know. Let's see. Oh, yes. Before people arrive, I want to pay you. For you. And for Belmont in the kitchen. It includes your taxi, so you can both just leave that and clean up. Thank you, Mrs. I'd better go check the living room. Oh, and. Yes, Mrs. I, I heard some strange news at the grapevine. Uh, Mrs. Roman tells me you won't be available anymore. No, Mrs. Not even for us, Annie. I mean, he's doing more than anyone. I'm retiring, Mrs. But, well, surely on special occasions, Annie. I, I mean, if we're desperate. Can I still reach you at your nephew's? He's moved, Mrs. But then where are you going to go? Got a sister in Milwaukee. But we'll be lost without you, Annie. You'll manage, Mrs. Not like this. We'll never match this. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, I think I heard the bell. Women's coats upstairs, men's in the hall closet. Yes, Mrs. Annie! Thank you, Annie. For everything. Thank you, Mrs. Lately, I've been having this recurrent dream. We're giving this perfect party. We have our dining room back. Grandmother's silver before it was stolen. And Charlie's mother's royal blue dinner plates before the movers dropped them. Even the finger bowls, if I knew where they were. And I've invited all of our favorite people. I don't just mean our old friends. I, I mean anyone that we've ever known and liked. Have the man who fixes our Toyota, and that intelligent young couple who bought the Peyton house, the receptionist at the doctor's office, and the new teller at the bank. And our children would be invited too. And they'd all come back from wherever they are. And we'd have two cocktails, and hot hors d'oeuvres, a first rate cook in the kitchen, and two maids to serve, and everyone would get along famously. My husband laughs when I tell him this dream. Do you realize, he says, what a party like that would cost? Do you realize what we'd have to pay these days for a party like that? Well, I know. I know all that. But sometimes I think it might almost be worth it. No, no, really, Graham, I never wanted to go. I just want to stay home with all of you. Suddenly I feel so precarious. It's as if we're all ghosts or something. Did you see how she walked right by her son? Let's go to start again, please. Let me begin all over again. No, no, no. Why are you like that? To all of us.